Hey there. I thought I haven't made any videos for a while. I thought I showed you something kind of novel. I was able to sync up the KNBR broadcast with the national TV. In 75 at back. So he came on as part of the double switch hitting in the ninth spot. He swings here and tops it for foul. He chased a high fastball up out of the strike zone. It's one and one. That's so Bumgarner. They played Dick even on the corners. Ten ball, about three steps off the line of third, and fell about 12 steps off the line of first base. Both feet for the bag. 1-1 one, one pitch. Third ball. Ooh. Just off the outside. 2-1. Good pitch. Could have gone either way. So I think you get the gist of it. How does it actually do that? Well, it's interesting. You can download software such as this. There's one called Audio Delay, another one called Radio Delay. You plug it into your laptop, you upload it, it's free, and basically what it is is you take the input jack from your uh, radio and turns it into radio, and you plug it into your laptop, it, the software uh, has a buffer system that will um, take the software and hold it for you for a certain amount of time. The satellite feed uh, from the TV arrives 24 seconds slower than the radio broadcast. And uh, you can set it to some number. Uh, and for this case, it happens to be 24 seconds, but it depends on where you are. Uh, once you have it synced up, basically you can now watch KNBR and the TV uh, as if you were actually at the game. And it's actually pretty novel. All you need is a Walkman. Uh, basically any kind of transistor radio that has a system, you take a three and a half millimeter audio jack, a two-sided one, one goes into your radio and the other one goes into your laptop where the headphones, uh, actually the, where the microphone goes, and you plug them together and uh, it works. And then you avoid watching those guys, the three talking heads. You can just watch Giants baseball in all its glory the way it was meant to be. See if he strikes him out. Hmm. Two down bases after Pablo Shaw at third. The one-one pitch. Baseball. He's going right by him. At the knees of swinging strike two. Well, mm. Let's find out what happens. It just sort of exploded right through Escobar. And the big man's reaching deep right now. The crowd on its feet waving the strikeout towels. Bumgarner has eight strikeouts in the game. And now the one and two pitch. A swing and a high, lazy fly to the center. Blanco easing to his right. He's calling for it. He's got it. Madison Bumgarner in this big game has gone eight shutout innings. He's at 107 pitches. And maybe he's finished for the night, or maybe he'll come back for more. Well, I think he's got enough left in his arm. Pitch count wise, he's at 107. I think he's got another 13 to 20 pitches in him. It's going to be interesting to see what Bruce Bochy does because he knows that Santiago Casilla likes to start an inning. He doesn't like to come into an existing one. So in any case, that's how it works. You can download the free software if you Google it. Audio Delay. There's another version called Radio Delay. And it should work on most software platforms, especially if you got a Windows based system like I do. Uh, just figure out how much to delay the software. I have 24 seconds um, timed in there. It seems to work pretty well, but you'll have to figure it out. Um, um, play it, try it out, see what you think, and uh, I think you'll have fun with it. As always, thanks for watching. Go Giants. Bye.